Welcome to Tool School. Today we're going to talk about Clover's Curve Ruler. Now, Clover's Curve Ruler is actually a set of three measuring templates. They are used to either modify or to create pattern designs. What included in that is our French curve, our hip curve, and a mini ruler. Now we know when we pull a pattern out of the envelope, it's not going to fit. We're going to have to make adjustments to the neckline, to the armholes, waistline, hip lines, darts, uh, even the hemline. So we take the pattern out, we make all those adjustments, we mark them with either pens or pins, but we put it together exactly what, how we want it to fit. The question is, those all end up in straight lines. How do we make them into nice curves? I can refer you to this artist rendition that our friend Vonnie made, and she's just simply folded this over to be the size she wants, and then she's redesigned this armhole and it started out as a bunch of little dots, but how do we make this into a one nice smooth line? Well, she used the French curve, and you just overlay the French curve over the dots and fill in that section, and you just continue to follow it around till you have this line finished. Now, you notice we have the same thing for the hip curve. So if you're doing your hip line, you can actually adjust your hip line exactly the same way, or if you have front back seams that don't match, you can use this as well to make sure that your seams match up. Now we always need to have a seam allowance. Most seam allowances are 5 8 inch, so it's, that's shown here, here, or on our mini ruler, we even have 5 8 inch. So you can actually mark up from here 5 8 of an inch and mark your seam allowance all the way through and then reuse your French curve to go back and make sure you have your seam allowances marked. That's the Clover Curve Ruler. That's Clover's Curve Ruler. I'm Steve Butler, and that's been Tool School. As always, we're interested in what you thought, please leave a comment below.